Hello everyone, this is Karthik Silvaraj and in this video 4 of AnyPoint MQ tutorials we will see how to consume messages from AnyPoint MQ and drop the messages to an FTP location and we will also see about how to use back the dead letter queue settings and um, before proceeding to this particular demo I would suggest to see three of my previous videos on AnyPoint MQ because the concepts that I'm going to explain are uh, understandable when you see the previous three videos. So let me go into the demo. So in the previous demo, we saw how to drop messages from an FTP server to any part MQ. So in this demo, we will do the reverse. We are going to take the messages from uh, any point MQ and we are going to drop it into your FTP location so let me name this project as anypoint MQ underscore FTP okay. so in my canvas okay now uh, so I have a queue called USA so it contains one message so let me browse the message So you can see the message as uh, some date payload with this data. Okay. So we are going to get this in a file in an FTP server. So I have uh, built an FTP server locally and uh, it has two folders input and output. So I have mapped that to my D drive. You can see over here. So now we are going to get this file in this output folder. So first I need an any point MQ connector. Okay. So for this okay. So you you need an application ID, so we will use the application ID that we used in the previous example, which is New York. Okay. So so creating a, an application uh, app provides you to provide access to each and every user or uh, organization so that you can control the access of everyone. Okay. So this is a secret. Done. So destination B USA. Done. That's a queue name. Destination is nothing but the queue name. So that's done. Next, we will drop an FTP connector. So it is host, local host. The part should be slash output. The username is yes, yeah. Okay, done. So now. Uh, Maybe I can uh, provide the file name as well. So we have a pattern. So let me name this file New York Weather dot txt. Okay. So it will write. This is typo. So this is the name in which the file will be written. Now let me run this application. So it has been deployed. And I can see immediately after it is deployed, it started to pick the message from that queue. Okay. Now let's go to so so you can see the file has been written over here with this data. So that's how it works. So now what we can do is so that was that's a success scenario. So it worked absolutely fine. So. Now, now, let's consider that uh, the FTP folder here is provided the wrong folder name. You can put uh, so wrong output wrong. 
so it doesn't have a folder name by this name so now let me re uh, rerun this Been deployed. Okay. Now what we can do is we can uh, go to our USA queue, and now we can uh, drop a message. Test message for New York. The message has been sent. Let's go back. So there is one is it is in flight because it is processing the new application is trying to get this but what happens is it will not be able to drop the message because there is no folder by the name output wrong so this is a scenario actually the queue the message will be in flight forever and this may cause some performance issues and also it has been retrying multiple times so in order to avoid this we have an option to assign a dead letter queue so before that let me go create a queue and name it as usa underscore sorry usa hyphen dead letter okay save it now go to the original queue and you can you see there is an option to assign a dead letter queue so just click this and it will ask you to assign the dead letter queue name so in this you can see the queues which are available so I am going to assign USA dead letter as my dead letter queue and it should be there after 3 attempts so it will check for 3 attempts whether uh, the connection is possible or it is able to provide the files in that particular location and it, if it fails for three times then it will be passing this message to this queue okay now it has been saved now let me go back now you can see there is one message over here okay so this is nothing but our our high message for New York this message for, for New York so this is the and you can see now it is no more running it has stopped trying over here as well ok so this is the purpose of assigning a dead letter queue so you can see there is no messages here as well ok so in my previous example I could have said that uh, we are getting weather information from multiple agencies so now uh, suppose I think I don't need this help from this agency then what I can do is I can delete their client app forever so now they can't we don't have the client app ID and secret so they can't connect to our uh, queue anymore okay so or suppose uh, some cases the there's another agency in Florida and they say their sec the secret key that we we provided them uh, has been compromised then we can actually regenerate secret as well you can see if you click here the secret will be re regenerated and you can provide the secret to them as well so now they will be using this pair to connect to our queues so this provides you easy client management so this is a major advantage of any point MQ so that's all pretty much about uh, any point MQ so I'm still waiting for Mulesoft to provide updates on this current version so, so far I see any part of Q as a perfect fit for IoT. I think th that is their main intent. So, let me see 
with uh, another new technology video soon. So till then, bye. And thanks for watching this video.